Hey guys. So you guys wanted to see something different. Oh, at least I hope you guys did. So we're gonna be doing survival. Like this could be a one-off thing. I've played this game for a bit, so let's go. Which solo are we using? Flying crane. All right. So yeah, so yeah. In case you couldn't tell, this game is called One Finger Death Punch. It's a great like five dollar game that actually I really enjoy. I thought I wouldn't because I'm more into shooters, but there is something satisfying about just watching a stick figure get flown across the screen in like a cheesy kung fu type feel. And just like those cheesy kung fu movies, you miss, you're basically dead. The reason I'm in survival is because they just keep rushing you, and it's basically how long can you go. And I was wondering why I didn't catch that. Oop! Those guys always annoy me. So yeah, you might be wondering what these blue guys, what the different colours are. They basically tell you what type of enemy, like what type of combination you need, like the buttons underneath. Like, that guy for instance, that guy was a brawler, so you had to fight him for a lot longer than any of these other guys where it, should, it tells you. Oh. And if you just go by looking at the colours and not the crown on top of their head. This is... Ow. Power smash. Oh, he's got the ball. Oh my god, the ball is hilarious. You basically just go here with the ball. Damn, I missed. The ball is pretty cool. Ooh. Okay. He apparently hit me so hard that I stayed down for like... Okay, now we're getting into the three hit enemies. make it to the lightsaber, come on. No! I was so close. Alright. That was cool though, that was 141. And I didn't even beat my high score. My high score is... 9370. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... I don't know. If you guys want to see me actually go through the levels... Well, actually, I'll show you the lightsaber level, because... Who do... Let's be honest, who doesn't like lightsabers? Let's go. Oh, sorry, light sword, because George Lucas. But yeah. You see the number going down there instead of going up, like it did in uh, the raw mode. Well, that's because... Well... You can't fight enemies for every, so you just sort of. Destroy your enemies by pressing the left or right mouse buttons. <laughs> Love that. Then that's two misses, and they will just get increasingly faster. All right, which way is he coming? Ow. Alright, what? I think I, that's a goal. Nice, I only missed twice. Alright, cool. So, these levels go by really, really quickly, and now these are <laughs> nunchuck rounds. They, they vary these things very good, and I couldn't recommend this game any more than I already have. So if you guys want to find a cheap, sort of like brawler style game, which only requires two buttons and is basically a brain dead game, One Finger Death Punch is a game like that. Of course it does require skill and timing and all the rest of it, but honestly, what games don't require a little bit of skill and a little bit of timing? Like even Mortal Kombat requires that. 
and I think so did Street Fighter to an extent. I never really played it. Alright, last guy. Nice. And it shows you a speed there. That was actually pretty cool. Alright. I think that's a smash round. Yeah, it is. Then there are also, like, you'll see this symbol when you play, and you're like, oh, what's that? That's oh, a boss round. And I, I can do better than seven to nine misses, come on. Oh, and I've only got five hits. And I'm using Drunken Fist style. Easiest way to find out. Silver, medal. Uh, silver, I can do better than that. That's the wondrous thing about this game. It's like it rates you, like gives you a medal, and you're like, I can do better than that. I can get to the fun. I can get the best possible medal. For me, I'm just acceptable with gold. Oh, can't miss anymore. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah, it's gonna be silver again. And because they keep changing colors, it's like the worst. So, yeah, silver. <sighs> Do it again. This is basically how it goes. Like, if you're a perfectionist, you will do one level constantly, and they will vary it up. One miss. Okay, I think that's a gold medal. Gold medal. Nice. See, told you I could do better. So all these people are like, oh no you can't. You were wrong. And if we actually have a look at the size of this level, this the world, for just five bucks, you have quite a lot to go through. For five bucks, I've spent probably like three or four hours on it. And I'm only, like, up to here. No, sorry, you see that flag there? Those flags there? That's where I am, that's where I am at the moment. Right? I am... here. Right? So I've completed... up to around about... what? Not even a quarter of it. When you look at all this, I haven't even completed a tenth. I've completed like a half of the zone that I'm in before we go either to fire, to water, or to earth. Fire, water, earth. This isn't... I may have actually just realised this may be like an elemental map, because I think ancient Chinese like Kung Fu movies were like, you must focus on the elements, or something like that. I don't know. But this is a really good game. I can't recommend it to you guys any more than I already am right now. So hopefully you guys take my advice and pick this game up. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this a lot more. So yeah, hope you guys pick it up because it is only like five bucks. And if you get it on sale like I did, it is definitely pretty good. And if we look at mastery. This number is your overall mastery. Keep playing to increase this score. Fewer misses gives you a higher score. Yeah, there are people that are like we look at achievements. I There are all these, like, a hundred perfect rounds. There's over a hundred rounds in this. So, yeah. If you guys want something to sink your time in and just be constantly rated and have nostalgia come back to you, this is the game for you. 
Uh, again, I keep gloating about it. So yeah, one figure death punch, ladies and gentlemen. I keep remembering. Until next time then. Peace.